back in Athens, Greece. I say back because this used to be my home. I lived here for a few years, up until a few years ago, here in the city center, not far from where I'm at here, just off of Sindagma Square. So it's really great to be back in Greece. Greece is actually a very important country to me because I grew up spending the summers here, up in the north of Greece, in the Chalkidiki region, which of course I absolutely will be going there soon as well. And I also speak the language uh, and have citizenship here as well. So for me, coming back to Greece is like coming home. It's not just the place to visit for me, like it is for a lot of people who come to visit Greece. I mean, Greece for me is coming home to my, to my other home. I have two countries. The United States and Greece are both my country. Since the COVID pandemic happened when I was in the US, I had to stay there for two years. So now the first country that I I'm going to post-pandemic now, or at least post-lockdown portion of the pandemic, because I mean it's still not totally over, uh, is here in Greece. So it's a sunny and hot June morning. I mean, many of you know Athens does get pretty hot in the summertime, and it's, this is not even hot for Athens. It's just a normal, normal day. It's probably about, it's about 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 86 in Fahrenheit. It can go up to 40 Celsius, which is over 100 in Fahrenheit very easily this time of the year. So. Yes, it's a hot summer morning, but not too hot for Athens. And here's Sindagma Square, right here. This is an area where if there's any kind of protests going on or any kind of rallies or, you know, even other major events that maybe don't necessarily have to be political. This is a big gathering spot for that. So I've covered many a protest, many a political rally, choked on plenty of tear gas here, all of those things. So now let's carefully cross the street here. I mean, you know, the roads, the streets here are pretty crazy, so, you know, got to really be careful. Really should, shouldn't vlog while you're crossing the street. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Crossing the street is not always very easy here. The streets here, even big ones like this, are pretty tight, pretty crowded, pretty crazy. So, you know, you definitely have to have to keep an eye out. Use your street skills for sure when you're crossing the street here in, in Athens.
friend of mine from when I lived here in Athens works at a bakery that is here on this street that I'm walking down now. So I'm gonna stop in and say hello. And of course, get something delicious to eat while I'm there too. Irini. Hey, the sweet one for the best. Tikanis. Vanilla roll. Kalo ine ias. Ine telio. Telio. Oshi mono kalo ala telio. Ine telio. So that's my friend Irini I was telling you about, who's basically my sister here in Athens, um, who works at this bakery now. That we got some exclusive access in the back to see how they make all the delicious things here. This here. Get that there if you come here. The hazelnut one. I'm telling you, it's that. That's my favorite one. That one, right So, you really cannot get real coffee like this in the United States. I mean, there's a lot of things I missed from Greece, uh, but one of them for sure was real coffee. I mean, coffee that will wake you up and give you energy. Uh, you can't get Fredo cappuccinos like this in the US, unless you're in Astoria, in Queens, in New York City. That's really the only place that you can get a Fredo cappuccino like this. Um, but here in Greece, you can get them all over the place. So that's, that's one, th one of the many, many simple things that I missed a lot. I love you much. I love you so much. Ermus Street, which is what this is here, connects Monastiraki and Sindagma. You'll very likely come across this road if you visit Athens because it is one of the most central places in the city. There, there's a lot of shops and also cafes and ice cream places and a couple of bars even. So if you find yourself walking down Ermu Street or Eolu Street, which is another pedestrian street that's in this area that's very popular to walk down along, definitely don't miss out on all the little side streets that connect this area because in all the little side streets that connect Eolu and Ermu Streets, you'll find a lot of interesting little shops and cafes and restaurants and bars and whatnot. So it's not just the stuff it's not just the stuff that's on the main streets. A lot of the things that are cool to find here, that are cool even for locals, not just for tourists, uh, can be found in these little side streets here in this area. Of course, the croissanterie that we just visited to see our friend Irini, that also is in one of these little side streets here too. So that's what I'm saying. You know, a lot of cool things could be found on these little side streets that you might not see or might not be apparent if you just stick to Eolu or Ermu streets. There's a lot more shade in these little side streets too. Heading towards Monastiraki, which is 
just down the street from here. Monastiraiki is a very well-known part of Athens. It is a central meeting point for locals and tourists alike. This street right here is just off of Monastiraiki and here there are a lot of shops for clothing and bags and other sorts of things like that. And also we just walked through the traditional meat market, the uh, Varvakio traditional meat market, which um, of course, you know, it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily a, a tourist attraction. I mean, you know, it's just a place to go buy meat. Just off of Monastiraki in the other direction, you have the Athens flea market. Then you start to get into Plaka, which is definitely, then you're in, you're definitely in tourist central when you go into Plaka, which is, it's a nice area. You definitely should see it if you visit Athens, but it, you'll see more tourists than locals there. The locals that you'll see in Plaka are working there. So, but still, you know, you should go check it out anyway. Uh, lots of restaurants there, lots of tourist shops, lots of other, you know, you get some other shops like this one here in the flea market as well. But we're actually going to turn off and go walk down Plaka a little bit. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Don't worry, okay. be happy. For All peace right. and love. Very good. All right. And love, Thank man. you. What's your name? My name is Rafael. Rafael? Yes, okay. Yes. Very good. Nice to meet you, Rafael. Yes. One love together. Peace and love. <laughs> What's your name? Nico. Nico. Nico, you're a nice guy. Nico. Yeah. That's why I call my channel Global Boom Nico. Shaka -laka. <laughs> <laughs> One right. love, man. Very good. You don't want anything for that? Of course. You have 10 euro, you have 20. You can support me. Ah, uh, I have... I have... I have, I have bunch of change. Thank you. There you go. All right. <laughs> Take care, man. Right. This is where you started getting into the touristy areas and I mean, you'll see a lot of people like that too, trying to get something from the tourists. If you do take a, a little band like that, it's, it's nice to give them some money, you know, they're trying to make a living too and they know that the tourists are really generous. So there's not like a set price for the little Akuna Matata bands, but if you do stop and, and get one, of course, it is good to, to give them something for that. And they're always very friendly. If you don't want any, I mean, you could just politely refuse and keep walking and they're not going to bother you. They're not going to, you know, at least as far as I've ever heard and experienced, you know, they're not going to chase you and, and bother you if you if you don't want a Akuna Matata band. You could just politely say no and continue walking. Omonia Square, very busy spot, lots of traffic usually in this part of Athens, um, both pedestrian traffic and vehicle traffic. Omonia is of course one of the central areas of Athens as well, and Omonia actually doesn't really have the best reputation, but here's the thing, Omonia itself is not so bad if you're right on the square, and a lot of what's around it is not so bad either. But what gives Omonia a bad reputation is a lot of the stuff right to the west of Omonia, to the west and, you know, northwest and southwest. On that side of Omonia, a lot of the little side streets immediately to the west, southwest, and northwest of Omonia are not the greatest. Uh, it is kind of a seedier part of Athens, so that's kind of what gives Omonia its less than stellar reputation. But 
Omonia Square itself is not so bad, and they've actually made it a little bit nicer in recent years. And, you know, of course, there's a lot of shops and kiosks and conveniences here, um, right, right here on the square. So, I mean, it's not bad, especially during the day. You don't have to worry about anything. East of Omonia, you have Panepistimiu and Savio streets, which connect Omonia with Sindagma, which is if you walk down either of those streets, you'll be in Sindagma Square in about you know, five to ten minutes or so, depending on how fast you walk. thing that has changed since the last time I was in Athens when you get into the public transit system here make sure this card that you get hang on to it because you're gonna need it to get back out also that's something that they've done in recent times to kind of crack down on a lot of rampant fare dodging that was going on was before it used to be kind of more open so just keep that in mind when you get your little your card Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ, Ελένα μου. Λοιπόν, τον Νίκο τον θυμάσαι, έτσι. Α, είναι ο... Είμαστε εδώ, στην παλιά μου πόλη, η Εξάρχεια. And Irini became a really good friend of mine who used to have a, a little mini market here just down the street from where I used to live here in Exarchia. So now of course we have to visit our old stomping grounds and have some food of with course. And, with and of course of course we're friends of with the course. people who have this restaurant here too, because you know everybody knows everybody here. Athens is a big village, right? Yes, so, of course. So now we have our, our beers, our saganaki, saganaki. And some some meat is on the way, some pancetta, what, what, else, what else did we get, what else did we get? Um, Biftekia. Biftekia, that's right, Biftekia. Um, yeah, so a bunch of, oh, dacos, dacos, dacos salad. Yes. Yes, which is a, that's a very, very, very Greek salad, so we'll, we'll have that too. Kalisas or Karistume Poli. Tros dacos to New York. Μόνο, μόνο σε ελληνικό εστιατόριο, αλλά και εκεί βέβαια δεν τα έχουν όλα. Τέτοιο δεν είναι έτσι όπως αυτό. The dacos, the dacos salad. So, we like dacos, right? Eating? We like dacos very much. <laughs> yeah, so now we're gonna stop videoing and we're gonna dig in. Because we're going to eat. Yes, there it is, the brizola. The brizola. Our wonderful friend Vaso who works here. You will not go wrong with Vaso if you're in Athens and you're hungry. I mean, look at this, look at this amazing food right here. Να ήρθε και ο φίλος μας ο Χρήστος Γεια οποίος... μας, γεια μας Α, τη γεια μας, ναι Τι τραβάς, εσύ τραβάς το μάλλον μου Ο Χρήστος <συσχελίδι> έχει ένα μαγαζί Εδώ κοντά, ένα οπτικό μαγαζί Και τελευταία στιγμή πάει, πάει να κλείσει το μαγαζί Και άργησε λιγάκι γιατί άντε όλη μέρα δεν έχει δουλειά Και τελευταία στιγμή, ε, τελευταία στιγμή ήρθανε Τελευταίος πελάτης, τελευταίος Τελευταίος πελάτης Τελευταίος ο πελάτης τελευταιος ο καταιδρωμένος δεν πειράζει. Εντάξει, δεν πειράζει. Κοίτα, φαγητό του αφήνω. Μου έχουν κρατήσει, με έχουν περιποιηθεί. Ο Χρήστο είναι ο 74ο και 75ο subscriber μου. Εντάξει, εννοείται πω θα τον πιάσει διπλή θέση. Ακριβώ. Θα τον τιμήσω έτσι να τον βάλω μέσα στο vlog εδώ. Πάμε. 